to see the Alliance map. I asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago, but it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. I beg patience all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The Olaf. Hey, where are Master Ame? You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> it can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this bar? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the Governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four years back. Trigger. Hey, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgos wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Go 
God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of Lunden. It is good to meet you, Reeve Stow. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stow. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. And what can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Aver of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, surly as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lindenwich. I was Saxon Burra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier. Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son, and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? God, no. No, no, no. It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. Oh Lord, deliver these men where the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You no need for outsiders, though. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stow. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor. God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke. London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me Second Reef? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder. On the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. <laughs> he governed this bird. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome, 
went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erge, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Sorry. Mistresses. Intriguous desk. Ah, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And I. I didn't know. I didn't think. He did. <laughs> a barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this god for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leads hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. 
Mithras was a pagan idea, a so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Show me what lies ahead. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of you. I must wear my reef's face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will follow you. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. Show me. They will attack on sight the Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. Oh, kissing coward! 
tools for a surgeon, finely crafted. Like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a wizard. Can't. Need to get on the other side. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing. Gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I have got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. on a few doors. That's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Eivor, you bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? 
That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the Arrow and the Leech. Killing both should drag the Compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. Do you see, Sunan? Show me what lies ahead. The 
guards here are vigilant. Do you see?
Go, my eyes. Have a look soon. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. Any noise yet about the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Survey the area, Sunan. Come on, let's go drink. Lead on, good my friend. Sorry, the ale is all gone. A beer, bring me beer now. Ah, God speed you, sweet ale wife. Long may you pour. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you a fine tulip? Have you got a coin? Is that a coin for the archery contest? This is my coin, my shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you through. We will to take for this job is three stubs of silver a month. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drag your brother home. Husa's earned a fortune skimming the box of London. Be gone! You reek of someplace else! 
I have a bow and a buddy ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? Hussa sent me. Your man in London, Mitch. Hussa did? Well, he's a keen one, all right. Has a good eye for soldiers. But do you align with our values? What think you of Outlanders? Outlanders bring exotic riches. Spices, silks and gems. They are the wealth of port cities. I've no quarrel with them dumping their trade. But they should leave after. London for Londoners! Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. But which? Ignore your purses, lads. I want to talk to you. This coin is engraved with an image of the London Coliseum. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye?
I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed. All right, take your mark. Hook set. Arrows not. Wait, I can do better. I often say the same, and it always costs me a little fortune. You've got a good racket here. Cutting my purse strings for a few more arrows. Let's loosen those arrows. Targets up. Bows ready. All right, take your mark. Hook set. Arrows not. Fire. We are halfway down the sand. Avor leads to victory. I can shoot a mid flight sequel through the eye. And you're still only good enough to beat me once. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. <laughs> Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south. Of all this, Trigger said, Gavgos, what we need now are strong borders and stronger soldiers. Today, I honor that wish. 
I present to you, good people of London, our new elite archery force. These. Remember the bloody stop and trust? Guards and arms! Cover my retreat! Don't just stand there, you bloody clots! Watch my back! Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? I can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw London as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. But glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Herkes should be down at the keys. He'll be waiting for you. 
If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. Is this the leech's work? Yeah. New corpses every day. If you are the only target for your people's fear, then they will turn on you. They're scared. If I am to be redeemed, I owe them the leech. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Winner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Stowe has seen the same. It is not only the ducks. How is that Sparrowheart? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgos, and that is enough. Avgos? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. She works for a blacksmith. Do you know where? Never told me his name, nor where he hammers. Tight-lipped about everything, this stubborn girl. I haven't seen her in two days, and fear the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna. Lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith. A missing child. It's a lead with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these ducks. Do I look like one who could? Song. I know it from Sina. That's the healer's song, isn't it? She's yeah, always saying it when she comes back. The other one's washed up. Out of the way! Let the man work! Zunin, guide me.
Have a look, Sunan. Just follow him, see where this leads. Can't this clod walk any faster? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Careful now. Penny a shovel then may wear him to a Michelin floor Winning him. What's the problem?
What's that about? Haven't you seen the burn scars? Lost their whole clan to the flame. Ooh. Keep a blade free, just in case. You got the purse I'm old. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I am with the Order. The Liege bade me give you a message. The Order? Huh? I'd need more testament than your word alone. I have this. If it's silver, I'll accept it as payment. You know this is no Elderman's coin. Right. So... so what's the Order miffed about? I'm doing my duty. I am here about the Liege. The tools you made were unsound. That's not my doing! Sister Frieda Smith is breaking them faster than I can smith. Breaking them on the bodies of the poor and unwell? 
We warned her against such evil. Now that's not a fair read on her work. She never kills without reason. That is for us to decide. Where is she now? Where she always is. The old forum in the shade of the giant's wall. Thank you, brother. And keep this to yourself. Your eyes, my friend. Go, Sudan. I shouldn't be seen here. A hood should work. where the leech dissects her prey.
best about this lab, my friend. will reward us. One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charm, house. I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. 
The Ancient Ones. The Arbiters. They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger. Faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? What do you see, Sudan? It is done. Ah, the leech is blared out. And did you catch your name? A nun, name of Frida Swift. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint, a healer, and a. <laughs> Gods! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida Swift. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tone. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything, from boils to broken bones. It is worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book... This is your good sister's battlefield. Her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life. But their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca.
some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. It is about time you found each other. Stop tiptoeing around it. Yes, I've found Stowe and he's found me. And, uh, and here we are, together. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Abgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? It is time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river Reb to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all in's meat. What is on your mind, Stowe? We know the compass is a sailor. A captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up! You find a way out! Evil! <coughs> Make for the steeple! It's only 
only a taste of the hellfire you'll see! Watch my lead! With me, brother! I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springles at Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I want those Springles on our side. I will follow you, Stone. Up on the ramparts. We'll redirect their fire. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. I'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Follow me to the rampart table! They'll have no chance! Survey the area, Sudan.
suffer the same disease. I'll kill you. You're dead. This is the compass. Large enough to ford an ocean. You've stolen me from Frankia! Will none of you lift a finger to aid your master? That burns! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that time.
There you are. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. I, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the rights to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randwick.